You have been nominated to serve as the public trustee of the Medicare and Social Security Trust Funds. I have concerns about your conflicts of interest. How much are you paid for your work at Clover? Okay, and what's the dollar amount? That's what I'm asking. Well, there's a uh, portion of the competition that is in equity and a portion that relates to particular roles. Of so you don't know the amount that you're getting paid from Clover? Uh, I do, Senator. Then how about you tell me? Well, it, it, uh, there's a, a portion that relates to the... Could I have a dollar amount, please? Well, it, it also depends on the, uh, on the, the year and the time. Uh, it, okay, you did a financial disclosure. Last year. Would you like to tell me what you said on your financial disclosure, which you signed under oath? I believe, Senator, as laid out in your letter, you uh, pointed out to uh, the payment that was from Clover for, with regards to 2022 and the compensation therein uh, being in the category of uh, $100,000. Okay. So you received $100,000 from Clover for your service. And if confirmed as a public trustee, do you plan to quit the Clover board? Senator, I appreciate the opportunity to address your question. The uh, role it's, it's really easy. You can say yes or you can say no. Senator, the role of the trustees of the Social Security... Is that a Medicare yes or a no? Do you plan to quit the job for which you were paid $100,000 a year? Senator, I'm grateful to the president and his team for the review of my credentials and qualifications. I mean, really? As well. You know you're going to have to answer this question. Is it yes or no? Are you planning to resign the job that pays you $100,000 a year while you are a trustee for Medicare. Senator, the review of, uh, the, of my current activities and my credentials and qualifications uh, is one that all under nominees undergo. And that's one that led to the president putting my nomination before this body. I'm grateful for that. And if given Look, I'm not going to get into why the president nominated you. What I want to know is, are you going to keep a job where you get paid by a for-profit outfit somewhere in the neighborhood of $100,000 a year while you keep your government trustee job? Can you answer that question? Senator, the role of the trustees actually... Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes, because I'm going to assume that if you were going to quit that job, you would be really happy to tell me that right now before we go into the question of what it means for you to keep this job. Mr. Kasukas, as we both know, as a member of the board, corporate law requires you to help Clover maximize its profits. I'm, I'm not sure I understood the question. Or, or got, so, uh, all right. Question. So, so my question is, if you are on the board of Clover, you are legally obligated to try to help Clover to improve its profitability over time or at least sustain its profits. That's corporate law 101, right? What I'm asking you is would that injure Clover? That is, would it reduce Clover's profitability? Senator, I think... Uh all Americans, uh, and I especially, would, would share your attentiveness to the questions of fraud. Uh, I, I appreciate that, that, but I asked you a pretty straightforward question. That if you're actually going to be a trustee on behalf of the American people and people who care about the solvency of Medicare, then I think you ought to be able to answer it. If Medicare currently, as it stands, put more restrictions on Medicare Advantage, would that likely cut into the profitability of Clover, the company from which you receive more than $100,000 in compensation annually. I think that the question you're asking... I know the question I'm asking. Could you answer my question, please? Yes. You want to be a trustee for the American people. You ought to be able to answer that question. The, the question you're asking is one that deserves a, a greater context about the role of the trustee. No, it deserves an answer. From you, you want to be the trustee, then answer the question. If Medicare cut what goes into Medicare Advantage, would that hurt Clover's profitability? That's not a hard question. And in fact, Clover has already pretty much answered that in a, its public documents. So could you give an answer to that, please? I, I think, Senator, that uh, what's important to focus here on here? I know what's important to focus on here. That's why I'm here, is to ask the questions that are important to focus on. Could you answer my question, please? Yes, Senator. I think that uh, if, if confirmed, 
uh, Dr. Newman and I would be an outside set of eyes and ears. That is not my question. Can you answer my question or are you just flatly refusing? Senator, I'd be delighted to, to discuss. Then answer my question. And I think that the, the question is one that, that is in the context of a hearing. No, it's a question that's a straight financial question. You know, Mr. Kazukas, I think you think you're going to get away for, with this by just not answering the question and not having any clip that admits how much money you're taking from a private insurance company that makes its money through Medicare Advantage at the same moment that you're trying to take a public role that will influence whether we focus on the fraud in Medicare Advantage or whether we turn a blind eye to it. Let's be clear. If Mr. Kazukas ignores the fraud, then he helps Clover. If he focuses on the fraud, he hurts Clover. The conflict of interest here is so big and so pervasive that there is no action that Mr. Kazukas can take that doesn't either help or hurt Clover, the company that pays him $100,000 a year to sit on its board and watch out for the company. And there is no waiver that can change that fact. This kind of conflict is shocking, and it is deeply unethical. Not a single other trustee has ever received compensation from an insurance company while acting as a Medicare trustee. And if you won't step down from the Clover board, then you should withdraw your nomination. And if you do not withdraw, given the clear conflicts posed by your board service, I will strongly oppose your nomination, and I will encourage every other senator in this body to do so as well.